Lessons. Today is Monday, May 4th. And today is National Harry Potter Day. The greatest day ever. You're a wizard, Prashasi. I am? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Today in history, in the year 2001, the first Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, came out. That was a good movie. I know. Now, now for fun facts with Freddy. Hi, I'm Freddy. Did you know that the shortest war in history only lasted 38 minutes? I did not know that. Also, when you sleep, you can't smell anything. Even your brother's or sister's smelly salt. Hey, Logan, catch! How, hey, how did you do that? I don't know. But I want to know. I'll tell you later. Fine. Can you give me my soft pack? That was my favorite one. Okay, here. Oh, that went far. <laughs> okay. One last fact before I go. And this one is Harry Potter themed. Great. Today is National Harry Potter Day. Wow, I did not know that. See you next week on Fun Facts with Freddy. Bye, Freddy. Now, a message from Miss Carter to announce our book of the year. And also, congratulations, everyone that participated in the April Reading Challenge. Everyone, I have two announcements. First, our book of the year, based off all of your votes, goes to, drumroll please, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, written by Jeff Kenny. It tells the story of Greg Heffley as he navigates school, friends, life, and of course, not touching the cheese. It's hilarious, and it has over 12 sequels, so you will always have something to read once you pick this up. I'm still looking over your brackets and we'll contact our top three bracket winners this Wednesday. Over 100 of you filled out the brackets, so this may take a minute. Next up, a gigantic thank you to everyone that participated in our April reading challenge, where you had to complete at least 10, count them, 10 reading tasks. Many of you shared your pictures to show your tasks had been completed, such as read in bed, read outside, read with a pet, read while eating cookies, read in a monster voice, or read in a whisper. I thought I would make all of our BCE reading stars news celebrities. So, in no particular order, a huge shout out and a huge high five to the following students. Congratulations to all of you. I loved seeing your pictures. Our May reading challenge is posted, so get out there and complete it. If you post a picture to the Padlet, you may just see yourself on the news. I'll be back with more praise and more reading winners at the end of May. Stay reading and stay healthy. Great job, BCE Reading Rock Stars.
and congrats to Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Although I thought I was really rooting for the one and only Ivan. I was too, but I actually liked Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It's okay. It's okay to have different opinions. Now let's go to the weather with Willie. Okay. Thanks, Brashosti. The weather for today is a high of 70 and a low of 50. Make sure to put some sunglasses on. Sure looks like good weather to me. Have fun playing outside. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Willie. Now for the moment of cute. Lady and her little brother. Even in the darkest of times, if one only remembers to turn the right on, said by the great Dumbledore. Great job, Dumbledore. You're so inspirational. I know, right? And perfect timing again. Today is National Harry Potter Day. Wow, so ironic. Now for the joke of the day. Hey, Logan, did you hear about the light bulb party? No. It was lit. <laughs> oh, I got one. Will you remember me in a second? Yeah. What about a minute? Yes. How about an hour? Yeah. Okay, knock knock. Who's there? You already forgot me! <laughs> and Logan. Have a marvelous Monday. And remember to wash your hands. Bye.